Hello, and welcome back to another video tutorial with in painting and automatic 11 11. So, hopefully, this will be a fast one just to address background removal, saving max, uh, masks, and alpha masks, you know, the transparency. That well, somebody asked about that. So, as you can you can get an idea that with in painting anything, segmentation that can be done really fast, just to show you a little bit here. So, let's use the same image. So you go here, you do your traditional uh, segmentation, and then you can select what you want to keep, and then you can save that mask, and also you can save the the transparency. So let's say that I want just to keep the plush toy or the stuffed animal or, or the dog, whatever that is. So you get there, your masking perfect mask and then here you have we already played with all these options you go into mask only click here get mask and click here and you get the alpha channel so now you have this you can download this or i think i haven't mentioned that all these images when you use in paint anything you go into outputs and here you have in paint anything you will have this folder and then here you are going to have your ma your your mask here so basically you have the alpha channel and pretty much this is background removal okay you remove the background here you have this one and then you can use it in to do the painting and if you want to do a little bit more sophisticated so select here and then and you will do the exactly the same get all of alpha channel and here you should get the new one so if you want to get the bench you can get an idea you start just to paint in everything until you get the bench so this one will be a little bit tricky to get so sometimes there is a lot of manual work not in this case in both because here you have the details in the back so see that you have the holes there so the, in the defense here so that can be tricky to extract but you can do it manually or you can play around there are many auctions here you have different models and auctions that you can play around to get that Okay, but it shouldn't be that difficult. So now that you have this, for instance, you want to use it, and let me go to image to image, the traditional in painting. So see here that you have the auction in paint at low. So basically, you want to use that auction, that, that image that you strat. You get your alpha channel. So this is my, or not the alpha channel, this is the mask, but you can also use the alpha channel. Now let me put the original image and that's all so then here you can say whatever you want no so let's say uh anti park okay and then it should work now this is your mask like we did what we were doing previously i'm not going to run here as you get the the idea and the final thing that i want to show you so this is this is it you save it is background removal now background removal is this what you saw here doing them in paint anything but also there is an extension so as you go into extensions there is you can look for that one i think i already have it somewhere here so bam 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 auctions let's say in paint in paint animate div segment hook scale so bam, which one i got lost here the canvas okay i don't see that removal should be somewhere somewhere counter and paint and see model conversion segment stable so let me see because that one okay remove background i have it there so as you go extension i'm probably remove and install um background okay load remove and here you should find that one by prone okay this one remove background from picture so already have it installed you can install this one and then this one when you install you're going to have it in extra there are many of these extensions that you don't get the tab on if you don't find the tab or where is that auction go to S extras and you will have it here so in this case you have it here background and this one use different models so something similar to the in paint but here there are some other models that sometimes they do work better so just to show you in this case with the same image 
Now, if I put it here and then again, when you run for the first time, it will, it will take some time downloading the models and so on. So let me use this one. Okay, and there you go. So see that here is removing already. It's doing a very good jo job. See here that here in this part is getting the hole and so on. Probably there is an issue here you now with the color, but you can play around with the options. Also, you can go here and if you want to save the mask, click there. And now it's going to save the mask. And you have it here. So here is using something you have used. Uh, control neck that you have uh, the filter, the depth filter, so something similar. And this is the idea you have different ones and you can test it. And each one sometimes they will work very well, sometimes something like this. So, honestly speaking, this one is quite good, okay? But it's not always the case, it depends on the composition of the, of the image. And to mention that now that for in paint, anything and everything is saved there for it, this one that is an extra tab you have it here, okay? So now you have your mask and you can do the same as we did previously, upload the mask and then remove that object. So yeah, this is what I wanted to address. Now one question, how to remove background. So as you see, it's, it's very straightforward. You can do also, there is a control neck to do that, but I think now, as I mentioned in paint, anything it, it is very good. And then this extra is one more sophisticated or if you can get good results with in paint, anything you go here and that one would be removed. It usually works very well to point out also that today, you now you, PowerPoint and uh, also Microsoft Paint and many tools already have this automatic background removal, so it's not a big deal. And there are many free tools to do that. Even you can do the brush, you know, the magic brush and so on. So there is, you no, know, I don't know, Power Paint. I don't know if that's the stuff and GIMP and so on that you can do that stuff. Okay, so that's all that I wanted to show you. The final part was in painting. And I hope that now you can master this, this in painting using paint anything or the standard no, interface that you have here on all those sections. So hope to see you next time. And if you have questions, remember that also you, you can ask in the comment section down below. So don't forget to subscribe and enjoy.